Hey folks, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We've just arrived on Alkanost, and our first board is an introduction to sensing. This describes a new mechanic called sensing. Basically, you get an uh, object on the screen similar to a bonder, but it can sense what atom is in it. When there is an atom in there, you can have a redirector, kind of like the branch at runtime that you had earlier, but now you can do it depending on what atom you're dealing with at the time. This first board is almost a direct introduction to the idea. So, let me show you a neat trick. So, we're going to be bringing in neon and argon. We'll grab it, we'll come this way, and once it's on its detection... Well, let's make this a little quicker on the loop. We insert a redirect. So, if it's neon, we want to keep going. So, we're going to set it, look for argon. And if it's argon, come this way, come over here, drop it, and ship out. Oops. If it's not, drop it here, and outside. Either way, we're going to be going this way, and then back to start. We'll let blue start up a little behind it, and perform the exact same routine. So here we go. So you'll see when it actually gets a neon, it goes to the right. When it gets an argon, it figures it out and drops. Whoops, these two got a little too close to each other. My bad. So what's happening is, is when one cuts off on the neon and the other one takes a long right on argon, I screw them up. So we'll put a sink in there for red, we'll put a sink in there for blue. And that'll just keep them from running over each other. And there we go, 174 cycles. Now I did use a lot of symbols compared to everybody else. They were at probably about 14 because I used both of the Waldos. But I certainly did cut my cycles down. So that was bite size, let's go to the next one. Prelude to a migrant. There's a whole story thing going on here where your boss is getting migraines. So now this gets more interesting. If you'll notice, what we have here is a double oxygen or a single oxygen coming in on the exact same input. Now on this one, I will give you a hint, and unlike the last one, because the last one was really just an introductory level to the idea. So, hint. Using the sensing icon, you can decide which path a Waldo will take with its object. Second hint. You can still have both Waldos chase each other, but you're going to have to drop off oxygen in singles. Third hint, the output doesn't care where the single oxygen is. All right, so let's begin. So we have a single oxygen or a double oxygen coming in. So at all times, we're going to come in there and we're going to grab, we're going to grab here because that's the place where we can do something useful with it. I'm going to put these bonders here. That'll make sense in a second. We're going to come down and come across. Now, if we have a single oxygen, so if I'm testing here, if I have a single oxygen, I won't have anything on this scanner. If I do, and it's oxygen, drop down and come this way. When it gets here, I actually don't necessarily want to grab it on that point, do I? Let me think here for a second. Actually, that would be fine. If I come here, I unbond here, I come up this way. See, what I'm looking at is my col my possible collisions between everybody. I had hoped to just simply unbond here, but what I think I'll do is we'll actually just drop it there. We'll fire the... Uh, Two bond minuses there. We'll also, oops. however, if it's a standard, we'll just simply drop here and come up and loop. And in both cases, we'll do an F. So here, I'll just give you an idea how this works. 
We do a grab drop. It sees that it's an oxygen. It comes here, grab drops, double unbonds it, ships it, and we're good to go. So now if I have blue doing the same theory, well, actually, we can just, oh, you know what? I can make life a little faster. What we'll do is we'll do the whole bond minus chick trick on blue. We'll just have red do the runaround. All right, I'm going to stop this for one second. Because I don't have blue and red chasing each other, I have almost no chance of ever running into myself here. So I'm just going to let it grab drop there, cut myself off a few symbols. There we go. 176 cycles, 13 symbols used. Looks like I could get a possibly get away with less symbols. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it at this time. And that's a reasonable number of cycles. I could drop that down significantly if I threw blue in there and had them flip around each other and you'd end up here on the symbols use chart, which is where the majority of symbols are. Somebody optimized pretty heavily down this way. So either way, well, that was small and tasty. Let's do a third one. Random oxides and then we'll close off this episode. The random oxides depends on what's coming in. I'm going to 50-50 get a zinc or a titanium. And what do I want to send out? A single or double oxygen. I'm sorry. A single double bonded oxygen to the zinc. Or a double double bonded oxygen to the titanium. So either I'm making zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Hit one. If you bond in place in alpha, you'll make your life a lot easier later. Hint two, the Waldo picking up out of beta will have to do a test to decide what it's going to do with the result. You cannot overlap a bonder and a sensor. Hint three, let the detector decide whether you're going to add in a second oxygen. All right, let's begin. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want a bond in place up here. In theory, simple enough. So we will have, it's also going, we're also going to need to have some timing on this, but I'll get back to why that's important here shortly. So let's line up our blue. He will do an, oops. He'll do an in, and he'll do a grab. Now we're going to take our sensor. Now, the reason I say this requires timing is because I'm going to want red to be finishing up about the time blue's ready to step in. So I want red to start at the same place. Red's going to do a pickup. It's going to do an in. It's going to do a pickup. And it's going to do a drop here. The question is, do I want it to do it in that pattern? I think I want it to... Oops. I want it to do it in this pattern, which means I want to sink here. So while you're coming in and grabbing and dropping, you're coming in and grabbing and dropping. So one and one, one and one, okay. So this sensor is going to become important for later as well. We're going to have to reuse this sensor, once for red, once for blue. The red's gonna come through, grab drop our oxygen here. Blue is now going to make a decision. If you are titanium, go that way for a second, and bring me in another alpha spot. And then come back in a pattern. So the objective here is that if it's titanium, bring me in another one. Now blue will drop off. Once blue has dropped off, it needs to get out of the way. And it's going to restart its process. These sinks line up. It's going to bond twice because both of these need a double bond. And do we want to sink before or after? That's a good question. Let's see how this pattern goes. So the next part of this pattern, we have built our atom. We've built the atom, but now we have to deliver it into the right location. 
So with red, we're going to come back up. And when blue tells it it's ready... We're going to come back across. Now notice this was a grab drop. I could actually just make this a grab because we're grabbing in both cases. This I definitely want to only be a drop. We're going to come back across here. Now we're going to test the atom that's in the elbow over here. And we're going to test it on this spot. If it's zinc, we're going to come down here for delivery. If it's titanium, we're going to go there for delivery. We'll do an out on both and restart. This sink and this sink should line up. That sink. That's supposed to be a sink. And that sink should line up. So, here's how you go through it. We'll start with blue. Blue and red wait. They sink up. It checks that it's a titanium. Comes up here, drops it off, double bonds it. Tells red to go grab it. It tests whether it needs to drop off a titanium or zinc. Ships out, comes back, starts again. We have another titanium, so it comes over here for the extra oxygen input. Does all of its bonding. Another titanium. There we go, and a zinc skips that additional. Those two bonds. And you'll notice I screwed up. That doesn't work. Because without this oxygen up here, it fails. So this entire setup is a mistake. The question is, what do you do when you build a mistake? How can I adjust this to not be quite so malfunctioned? Not too horribly, actually. So, instead of grabbing off this oxygen, we're going to stop this. I'm going to switch this back to a grab drop, and you're going to notice a neat trick. So, on sync, we're going to come through here and do a pickup. And I have it in that spot. Give me a second while I think this through for a moment. I have it here, so I make a decision here because now I've got it on the other corner of the elbow. If you are zinc, which is our lower drop, keep going down, otherwise go across. Move that there. Now I have it in the wrong corner, so everybody's gotta go out by one. So, same theory. Oops. This was supposed to be a grab drop. And here, I'll show you why. So it sinks, it does it in, it grabs here. Now it drops, because that's the command. And it comes through. And because I've got it on grab drop, when it comes through again and it's empty, it decides to grab. And it ships out our titanium. And there we go. And now it's shipping zinc properly. Now this is a bit longer of a run. We're going to see how my cycles turn out, and maybe we redo this. 537 cycles, that's reasonable. 36 symbols, and one reactor. You know what? I'm happy with that result. That's not too shabby. We could probably lower those cycles if I sat down and really thought it through and decided to just tune the heck out of it, but I'm not going to do that. There are an amazing amount of videos out there by different people who have come up with some amazing methods of cycle optimization. I don't want to just go out and copy them. That kind of defeats the point. Uh, if you're interested, I recommend you go and check them out as well. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to be moving on, uh, but this will be it for this episode. Our next adventure will be No Ordinary Headache. This will be a production level. So I will see you for that next time. As always, thanks for watching, and please leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed.